All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, I would like to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another news article, which I have found through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. Ham is catching it. You know, you can tell these are Hamites, you know, just by how they look, you know, you, you know, the, the, the Lord is, is bringing judgment upon Ham, you know, because, um, well, for one, you know, you have to ask yourself who sold us to the to the to the Grecians. And a matter of fact, let's get that because the Lord, the Lord did not forget about what you hermetic people did. You know, to our nation. Okay, the Lord did not forget what you Hamites did to our nation. As a matter of fact, I did not mean to do that. Let's do this. Let's go to Google and let's type in Bible. Okay. Have ye, excuse me, have ye. I'm on the phone, excuse me. Have you sold them to to the Grecians? I know this in the Book of Lamentations or Joel. Okay, or the Book of Joel. Okay, that's good. And um, let's see. Uh, let me see. Let's go to verse three. OK, you see the judgment that's being brought upon him is not only for all the atrocities they have done to us before in the past, but also what they have done to us, not just in, in this generation, but before the transatlantic slave trade took place. You see, and when you read the book of Joel, the third chapter, it's going into some of the atrocities that happened to our nation. Okay. Especially before we had went into captivity into the new Egypt, which is the United States of America. Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Jew of Judah and Jerusalem. Verse two, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with and will plead with them there, which Jehoshaphat goes back to the Hebrew word Yahweh Shapat. OK, now Shapat means judgment. Yahweh is the name of the heavenly father. And when you put Yahweh Shapat together, it, it literally means Yahweh is the judgment. Because there will the Lord plead with them for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among all nations and parted my land. OK, and what is the Lord's land? That's the land of Israel. Scriptures tell you that his eyes is always upon it. OK, and who who's parting our land today? Well, you got Ham over there, which which Amalek calls uh, the Philistine Jews. OK. Talking about those um dum dum Hamites, them Africans. Okay, they are the true descendants of Ham, but they are called the uh, Philistian Jews. Now, when you look up the word Philistian, the word Philistian means false. But it's funny because you so-called Jewish people, you're also fake Jews too. You, you motherfuckers are not the real Jews. Okay, according to the Holy Scriptures, you 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 so-called Jewish people down in the land of Israel, your line goes back to Esau. Okay. 
Y'all come from the line of Amalek. And when you look up Amalek, okay, Amalek is one of Esau's grandsons, if I remember correctly. So y'all, y'all are y'all are descendants of, of Amalek. Okay, according to the Holy Scriptures, the real Jews are the so-called Negroes. Negroes are the real Jews. And I got plenty of scriptures to prove it. Okay, and I got scriptures to prove that you people in the land of Israel, as of today, I got scriptures to prove that you people in the land of Israel today are not the real Jews. Okay, y'all are imposters. But anyways, as, as it is, um, as it is, um, biblically, biblic, biblically proven, okay, y'all have parted the Lord's land. Okay, the real Israelites are not in that land, which is the land of Israel. The land of Israel is our land, anyways, and they have cast lots for my people. And have who 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 have cast lots for for my people? You Hamites did, okay? You Africans, okay? And have given a boy for a harlot, and that's what y'all did, because everybody knows that Edomites, which the the biblical Edomites, would be the self-proclaimed white man, starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation of people. They everybody knows that Edomites are, are the biggest pedophiles on the planet, okay? They love having sexual relations with little children. And, and it's a well-known fact. So you Hamites, you Africans, you, you've given our children, our, 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 which the word child goes back to bond, which means um, a, a, a male. Okay, you, you've given our, our, our children as harlots to, the, to these, um, these Edomites, okay? So you, you've given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine. That they may drink. Verse four. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? See, that's how you know it's talking about Ham, because who predominantly uh, dwelt in those areas? Ham did. Okay, so Tyree and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine, which I believe Palestine is another way of saying um Philistine, or or, or something like that. Palestine. I, I could be wrong. Don't 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 quote me on it. It says, will ye render me a, a, a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? And well, what do you see here? <laughs> the Lord, the Lord is recompensing you, you Hamites. The Lord says speedily will he recompense you, your reward upon your own head. And, and what do you see here? The Lord is rewarding Ham, these Hamitic people with what? With with famine, food shortage, starvation. This is how the Lord is rewarding him. You see that? It's, uh, okay, so Joel 3 and 4, will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? You see that? So the Lord is recompensing him upon his own head because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. OK, and, and according to the scriptures, OK, the Israelites are likened to the Lord's gold and silver. Case in point, Zechariah three, verse nine. OK, um, what is that? James, I believe James, the first chapter, gold being as gold tried in the fire. OK, OK, what did the Lord say? Didn't he not say that well, when he make up his jewels? OK. OK, in um, second address, the 16th chapter and somewhere around the 70th, between the 70th and the 74th verse, the Lord said that he would try them as silver is tried and will refine them as gold is tried. Well, he will bring them through the fire as, as gold is something to that effect. OK, but in Zechariah 13 and 9, I know the Lord said that he will try them as silver is tried and will refine them as gold is tried. So the Lord's the Lord, the, the Lord's the Lord's uh, people, the Israelites is like unto gold and silver. Because he have taken my silver and my gold. OK, so they have taken us as a nation. Uh, they have taken us a lot of us. 
uh, us Israelites. And what did they do? They sold us to the Grecians because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. Okay, let's go to verse six. The children also of Judah. Okay, and when it says Judah, it's not just talking about the tribe of Judah. No, Judah represents the southern kingdom, which will be Judah, which is where the so-called Negroes come from. So-called Negroes come from the tribe of Judah, which Jew, J-U, Jew is where you get Judah from. So so-called Negroes come, real Jews come from the tribe of Judah. So so-called Negroes come from the tribe of Judah, okay? So you got the southern kingdom, which makes up Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Now, Jamaicans, what the world calls West Indians, come from the tribe of Benjamin. And then you got Haitians. Haitians come from the tribe of Levi. So Judah, Benjamin, and Levi make up the southern kingdom. And the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto what? The Grecians. Who are the Grecians? That's the, the, that was the so-called white men back then, okay? They went under many different names, even though the, the original Greeks were the uh, Japhetic people, okay? But that, that's a lesson for another time. But anyways, Esau has a history of, of killing off people and taking on their, their nationality. Okay, so, you know, you know when, when, when um, Esau, when, when they killed off the, the uh, U, Utruscans, which were Jep Japhetic people, they basically took on their, their nationality and started calling themselves Greeks. So when you see Grecians right here in Joel 3 and 6, it's talking about the Edomites. Okay, which were the so-called white man back then. Okay. But um, during the um, transatlantic slave trade, okay, this is what was going on. The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem was being sold to the Grecians. They were being sold to the so-called white man to be slaves over here on the soils of America. Okay. And a lot of Israelites were gathered up around that time and they were put on slave ships where they would where, where they would be sailed across the trans uh, across the Atlantic Ocean to America. OK, so the, the children also of Judah and the ch children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians. OK, this was the so-called white man back then during the uh, the the the. Uh, the slave period where, where we were being binded by chains and shackles that ye might remove them far from their border. OK, remove remove us far from where our our homeland, which is the land of Israel. OK, so we were we were sold to the so-called white man who was the slave master at the time at the time. And we were put on slave ships and we were sailed up. We were sailed over here to the Americas, to the new Egypt. Like it tells you in Deuteronomy 28, 6, 28, verse 68, where the Lord said to the Israelites that, that, that if we did not keep his law, statutes and commandments, that the Lord would bring us into Egypt again with ships. And we came over here and to the new Egypt, which is America, by the way of slave ships. OK, so we were removed far from our border. OK, so for, let's read verse seven now. Behold, I will raise them out of the place, whether ye have sold them and will re, and will return your recompense upon your own head. So the Lord said that he will return your own payback upon your own head. And well, you, you see that Ham Ham is paying for what they did to us when 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 they bound when, when they binded us up and sold us uh, uh, to be slaves over here in America. The Lord is recompensing a uh, ham for that. So here it says food stocks are critically low as warehouses have been raided since civil conflict broke out, according to save the children. Oh, my goodness. At least 498 children in Sudan, including two, do two dozen babies at a state orphanage have starved to death. R listen closely. At least 498 children in Sudan including two dozen babies at a state orphanage, have starved to death as a result of food shortages. What is a food shortage? That's a famine caused by fighting between 
state forces and rival para, paramilitary troops, according to Save the Children. You see that? Judgment. This is straight up judgment. That's that's almost 500 right there. Okay, that's almost 500. So the Lord is bringing judgment upon him. You see? Now, we come over here, right? Because what's happening down there in Shudan, which is predominantly inhabited by Hamites, uh, Africans, right? We come over here. Let's check out this prophecy, which Yahweh said would happen. Matthew chapter 24 verse 7 for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be what famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrows so what you see there is a famine famine in diverse places starvations and what you see happening here in in uh sudan which is the southern region of africa it's going to come over here to america the same thing is going to happen over here in America. Okay. Let's get another scripture. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said Yahweh unto his disciples, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes and shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. And what do you see right here? You see famine. Children starving to death in Sudan. Which this probably this has probably been going on and Esau is just reporting upon it. Cause you come on, we're talking about Esau here. He probably reported on this shit at the last second. You see? So with that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.